The Quartering is a YouTuber uh, of some fame uh, who is ostensibly on our side of the culture war. I think he, uh, does he usually cover media uh, matters, which is still very important, um, but uh, I, I, he may, he may cover some other stuff too. But he's, I have, I have usually seen him as, sort of like, quick and easy to digest, shallow takes, that kind of thing, is, which is fine. Um, that needs to exist as well. But some people view that as, well, as what it is, and as therefore as a bad thing. Um, but some people would take it further, and I'm not saying I disagree with him either. He says, it's going to be very expensive and logistically prohibitive to get justice from Ian Miles Chong and Rebel News. They are banking on the fact I won't pursue this because I need my lawyer to make connections in both Malaysia and Canada. This is exactly why I need to do it, they say. So there's a bit more backstory here. Ian Miles Chong, he's, he's allegedly a journalist on our side of the culture war. That's how I've always uh, received anyway, when we looked into it. Um, this is apparently the basis of the claim. So a Twitter user, I don't know who exactly, he doesn't say in the screenshot, but they said, they said, and I quote, Quartering famously wants to his friend's daughter when she turns 16 gross disgusting, they say. What could they possibly have to talk about quartering complaining that the women in the cartoons she watches aren't sexy enough? I don't know what that part is meant to mean, but that's part of the quote as well. And then they say the following. He's basically a... All right. <laughs> Wes wants to... Okay, Wes, you want to you wanna tee this story up for me? You go right on ahead. I think you might know more about this guy than I do. Um, yeah, Uzlu. Um... So, uh, you know, there's something that I would just like to say about the quartering. Now, I might get in some trouble for saying this, but um, not a fan. You know, I, I understand that, you know, there might be some people that like him and, you know, might have something positive to say about this type of topic, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be the one that says it. I'm going to be that guy that says this thing. Uh, not a fan. Sponsored by et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid we don't have a sponsorship slot ready this this week, unlike the quartering, who has six per vit, apparently. But uh, yeah, um, that is what Wes has just done. Apparently, what the quartering videos are like. I've watched only a few of them, um, but uh, uh, I, 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 I saw what he was getting at. <laughs> it's every video. It, it, it's it, it, guys, guys, guys. Tell me if I'm wrong, please. Please, it, it, there, there's there's thirty of y'all in the chat. Please tell me if I'm wrong in any way, shape, or form. Like, like, oh my god. Strong takes here only, Chad. <laughs> you can't get this kind of opinion from the mainstream press. The, the <laughs> man does like five minute videos with two minutes of ads. It's mm. ridiculous. Uh, Field says, unfortunately, Wes has too much natural charisma to convey how boring the quartering is. I like to think that I'm a good enough actor to portray how bored he is, how boring he is. Is he actually just bored? And the only thing he finds in, like, it looks like he spends more time working on the thumbnails and, as you have parodied, working on the sponsors than on the actual commentary. Like, he's, he has oh, found the, the he has perfect formula to go as shallow as possible with the meat and serve you exclusively spices and, like, ice cream <laughs> and no potatoes, no veg, just... Tiny slim wafer thin meat. So Uzlu, you would be happy to know that he makes so much from this garbage content that he has an editor and someone else makes the thumbnails for his videos. <laughs> He's got a secretary too. It's like it's like it's it's like he doesn't handle anything. He he doesn't handle like this because because obviously he, he got a secretary apparently for uh for for uh, uh, handling all of the sponsorships deals that he has, and it, it's oh my god! Like you you because someone mentioned it. He he did a he he did a, a, a live stream with uh, Bearing and Thank uh, 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 Dank Dankula. Sorry, uh, and and that's good, 
But that's kind of good in spite of him, not because of him. It, it, that 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 live stream was good because of the very dynamic personalities that is bearing and Dankula. And and he's he's just in the middle going, wow, that's uh that's that's quite the spicy take. Let's get some super chats in. Fifty dollars from from Bob Dingleberry saying, uh, "Great, great show, guys. Oh, Love the show." <laughs> so yeah, your point I think has has been strongly made. Whereas it looks like the rest of the chat agrees with you. Um, though the story we're looking at now doesn't necessarily concern his uh, quality. Uh, yes. Yes. God, yeah. f- it, four videos a day is such a consistent guarantee that it's in his Twitter banner. Like, I gotta, I gotta commend the guy for quantity, but there's a limit at which the quality is going to suffer, no matter how good your takes could be. If you did one video a week, exactly. say, what quality? Exactly. Like, is is that the answer? Is that the it, the the, the he, direct derivation to explain why <laughs> why he does uh, this? Uh, often? When we talked about suck. when we talked about this a year ago, when I said his videos literally are he makes he well someone else makes a bombastic, attractive uh, thumbnail, and then he goes, "What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering. Got a." spicy news article for you today and then he reads a little bit of it and then he goes but first let's hear a word from our sponsor all right do you guys like this place <laughs> coffee <laughs> for about two minutes and then the next three minutes of the video is him reading the rest of the article or tweet or some or tweet chain and then it's followed by um now i don't know if anyone else has said this and i'm i'm just gonna have to be that guy not a fan or or um you know this to- this uh, m- this might get me in trouble but uh i agree with that and that's it and then then it then it's make sure you like the video see you all in the next one you know like he's he is he is barely a step above yong ya i don't know if you know who yong ya is heard of the name yeah he's basically the asian version of the quartering I've somehow managed and, uh, to avoid that, all these like allegedly crap content creators. And and that guy got a voice acting gig in a Yakuza game. It's like how? Was he playing a computer? <laughs> I I don't know what he's playing, but mm. there's a part of me that wants to get that Yakuza game just to see Yongya. Yeah. Uh, at least at least Yongya yeah has like some inflection in his voice, especially at the end with I'll see you guys next time. Young <laughs> out. Uh, you know, like, like at least there's that. Mm. Like, but, but Jeremy from the quartering is just like, you could, you could set a tuning fork to his, mo- to his monotone voice. It, it's, it's ridiculous. The only time I was in a voice channel with him once, um, in the, I think the Skype group, it was that long ago, uh, with Sargon and some others, and uh, he was actually animated at that time. Maybe he's just making so much money from this that he's stuck doing it, even though he stopped caring like five years ago. Because that would have been 2017, roughly, that I was on that call, I think. I suppose, but he also has like another job selling URL video, uh, URL ad space. Like he's got other jobs. That would that would be like that would basically be like me with my full time job getting out five, four or five basic bitch videos a year uh, a day and complaining about it. It's just like you could just don't. You, you, you could just don't <laughs> like 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 no, like, just just it, it, it's like. Uh, uh, it's like uh, Hassan and Asmagold complaining about nine hour long streams. Or you make millions. Just shut the goddamn video off. You just have to cease. <laughs> you don't have to do it every day. You know what? You know what you do? You know what you should do? Five hours. If it's really that draining on my social battery. Just 
just just just shut it off. It's like cyberbullying. It's not real. <laughs> Five hours of uh, a better content, or five hours of actually caring and paying attention, rather than what I gather is what Hassan usually does, nine hours of just sitting there watching stuff. Like, I will say- Have you never actually, have you ever actually, never actually sat down and watched a Hassan Piker stream? No, I find him completely repulsive. It's mind blowing. It, it's, it's like watching one of these e-thoughts, if you could, like, like, it, where, where it's, the man is literally, he's, okay, without going too much off the dip in, Hassan Piker is a himbo, all right? He is, he is a doof. And, and, like, people are getting political takes from this pearl necklace wearing it on the, on, like, where he's just, he's literally, he's got the mic right up to his mouth, and he's like, oh, oh you, you, oh, oh, and, and, and he's, 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 reading the chat and then reacting to it and then he'll watch a video and eat and then he'll just leave for 20 30 minutes at a time and just let the shit play or let the chat scroll and that's it and he makes millions he makes millions <laughs> but uh 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 well i was gonna say who said it but i already told him i'll never give him credit for it someone in the chat and i'm gonna say that it's me <laughs> came up with the idea of uh, of of calling it fast food co equivalent of of online content. It's mm. it's it's McDonald's, you know. It's 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 Wendy's. Yeah, it, it's it's easy. It's quick. It's easily digestible, and it'll end up giving you diarrhea in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. So, you know, especially when you go on Twitter and shit out those same opinions as if you like you know something. Mm. No. This expression has been a collaboration between Wes Y11 and Kieran. Feels as that's because he's a fool and his money shall soon be parted. And if that really is the quality of his content, and especially if he's a socialist, then he probably has exclusively fools watching him. I will say, though, to the credit of both the quartering, Hassan, and probably this is why Asmongold's been successful for so many years, is there's a lot to be said for organizing the internet and presenting it to your audience, even if you're just presenting it. And then the other angle that I think people watch them for, but you don't really get this from Quartering and Hassan, so I'm not sure, is uh, emotional regulation. So like training your emotions to react in a similar way to what is normal. I think normies love that shit. That's why they like tabloid stuff. That's why they like really exaggerated, um, uh, like uh, hot news about emotional things that, that mean nothing. But the emotions are thick and fast and they keep changing it, it according to different stimulus. And that's why they watch that kind of thing. Now, I can't imagine they're getting that from Hassan or the quartering if they are really that monotone. But the organization part of it, especially if they're doing four videos a day or nine hours of streaming a day, I could see that being useful. Hassan has that extra angle of being a socialist, uh, so no one sensible would watch him, but there's plenty of people out there who want the organization, maybe get a little bit of the emotional regulation from him and want someone that will occasionally reassure them that, that you should eat the rich. It, Otherwise, it, I can't it, that, that I think that I think is it, it, it confirmation bias. Mm. It, it's it's probably it, it, a good chunk of its con. It's it's it's. I mean, to be fair, Hassan Piker's just the other side of the good thing. Good people, you know mm. the 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 you know guys. I mean, I just you know I just think you know housing's a human right. You know I'll be brave enough to say it. You know, and, you know it's it's that. You know, it's a, is human right. It's just brave enough to say it. Five million. Yeah, minimum you know, wage. look, I'm a socialist, but you know, I, I'm, I'm also a millionaire somehow. <laughs> Not quite uh, living the way Marx did. <laughs>